Welcome back explorers, I'm Oja Sharma and in this video you're gonna see me painting a commissioned artwork for a client uh, like you might have already seen it in the thumbnail, it's a swan painting uh, painted in acrylics you know it's good and stress relief thing to keep working on whatever comes up your sleeves so and to all the young artists and beginners out there I would say like guys do whatever you wanna do, be passionate, keep exploring, keep up the good work and grab some paints, grab some brushes and just admire your work okay <laughs> Are you excited? So let's get straight to the video, grab some snacks and watch it till the end. Now this is the reference drawing that I have to make and as the drawing is very easy, I'll draw it freehand. Now that my drawing is done, I'll take out some paint in my color palette and as you can see that I use a big uh, color palette for my color mixing. I just really don't like using those small color palettes, especially the one which has those small divisions. Let me know in the comments down below if you're also the one who don't like using those palettes which have those divisions. Now especially while doing acrylics, I like to apply a very thin layer of any predominant color which is like as per my reference picture. Even though I am doing abstracts, I apply a nice layer of uh, um, any color on my canvas and then start making my painting. It just makes my canvas smooth and work as a nice primer. It also acts as a nice warm up before I start my painting. back and forth technique to just smudge my different colors on the area and after mixing all the areas I'll take a sponge because I wanted a texture on my next layer so I was just trying I was experimenting with different materials so I just felt working with this sponge so I just use it <laughs> however this texture can easily be achieved with a normal stippling brush or a mop brush and frankly I was actually liking the texture that this form was creating so uh, that's why I used it. I love experimenting with different material and surfaces I've said before and, and I'm actually not afraid of using any uh, material or any new surface because I'm at a stage right now where I can at least like know how to make it work or make it look good.
I've literally painted this artwork using only two, three brushes, uh, two round and one flat brush. There are some people who believe that uh, one should use right proper brush to use make a perfect uh, drawing but actually aapko skills matter karti hai, not the brushes agar aapke paas skills hai to you can actually you using a single brush only you can make the whole painting Now it's time to varnish my painting and for that I'm using a generous amount of acrylic gloss medium uh, by Camel and I'm evenly spreading it using a very soft flat brush and we'll let it dry for at least 3 to 4 hours. That's it guys that was the whole process do let me know in the comments down below how much you liked it and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel like and share and i hope to see you in the next video till then take care of yourself and peace